What a day, what a day. It has been a long day, guys. It's midnight here in San Diego, but I am committed to putting out videos regularly. So that's why I'm on here at this hour to spread a little information. I had a couple situations I dealt with directly and indirectly today, um, but it all has to do with people breaking down right now and going, you know, going through chaotic situations with this whole quarantine, this past year of being on lockdown, <clears throat> financial, emotional, physical, you name it, people are going through all kinds of struggles. But I just want to give you guys a few pointers on things that you can do, and yes, I'm in my bed, uh, things that you can do to increase your chances of successfully surviving this pandemic, okay? Well, first of all, anything toxic or negative, anything that brings down your vibrations or your your uh, immune system, for one, those are things you should be avoiding right now with just with this whole virus. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where your immune system is weakened and what causes a weak immune system? Drugs, alcohol, food, you know, abusing food or not eating healthy, not exercising, stress. We're all dealing with different things right now. And yes, it is difficult. But those who are working on their spiritual, mental, and physical health have a better chance of surviving this. And I know it's tough. You know, everyone's dealing with a different scenario. So there, you can't really compare. But... I can promise you that if you remove those negative toxic things or at least minimize it you don't have to be a saint but maybe just cut down or you eventually cut out some of those destructive things that are it's like self-sabotage you're sabotaging yourself you can't expect to be successful and thriving if you're doing low vibrational toxic things to your mind body and spirit it just doesn't work like that <clears throat> i've been through a lot of stressful things in my life uh, two years ago, I went through a 40-day hospitalization with my firstborn daughter. I still haven't got in depth with that story. It's pretty, it's a pretty crazy story, but I will go into that. It's gonna probably be an hour-long uh, video just to explain the whole situation. But the bottom line is, it was the most stressful thing I had ever dealt with in my life, and what helped me to get through that was that I wasn't drinking alcohol. I wasn't doing any type of substances. I was eating healthier. Actually, I wasn't eating at all because of the stress, barely eating. But I was exercising, being mindful, and always it always helps to have a positive mindset. I'm not saying you have to be you know, positive every single day, but at least be mindful of your thoughts so that you're not having toxic or negative thoughts because those do bring you down. Those do bring your vibrations and your immune system down and it affects the people around you that's how i was able to survive the most difficult days of my life was just not having any of those toxic things in my life removing all of those things helped me to get through through the most challenging times and thrive really after that i was now i feel like i'm becoming my best i am becoming my best version because i have either completely cut out a lot of those things or very minimally uh, indulge in anything like that. <clears throat> so I know it's a tough time, but the best thing that you could do to help others is to be your most powerful self. If you could remember that, I promise you that you will make better decisions. It's just one day at a time. You don't have to be perfect, but just every day be mindful of the things that you're doing that are bringing you down. And if you continue with that in three months, your life will be different. In one month, your life will be different. But in three months, six months, you can be a whole new person and create a whole new life for yourself. So it all begins with you. Don't take it out on others. Be your best version. Minimize your toxic and self-sabotage. Self -sabotage, and do things that are going to uplift you that are gonna keep you in a healthy state of mind and surround yourself with people who do the same for you. So that's my word for the day. Have a beautiful night. I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.